There okay. You go. Now you're going. There we go. <laughs> we're going. We're filming okay. the harvest. Well, the harvest of today, anyway. I forgot of to today. Watch, so I don't know what day. Uh, what day it is? I think it's the 25th, and it's uh, 10. 29. It's about 10:30. 25th of no. September. There's a lot of tomatoes that hide under here. And they're not found by people no. passing by here. Yeah. And wow, they must feel unappreciated. No, because I find them. I know. Yeah, I know. I most people that are thieves and vandals are well, are pretty lazy. So if I get the ones that are yeah. obvious, then people don't manage to take them easy. Unless, like, there was, um, you know, a couple times when we were away, right? And people mm. knew we were away, and then tomatoes. But aside from that, people just take what they see. Yeah, the other thing is they'd be in a hurry. They don't want to get caught. I think this is the most beautiful this this wall has looked. Well, it's uh, basically been covered up. I kind of like the look of the wall when it's not covered up, but it looks even better when it's covered up by plants. The corn there has gotten higher than the eaves. Yes, it has. Some of it. Yeah. See, that's a good one. That one looks nice. Yeah, that's impressive. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. This is what people should be doing instead of doing, having wild COVID parties. They should just be out there doing a garden, a victory garden. Yeah. I mean, you were mentioning how, um, I think you were talking about how Trudeau thought the election was going to be a cakewalk. Right? <laughs> you bet. Uh, yeah. Because it's like COVID is sort of like, um, like when the there's a wartime or something, yeah. and then the incumbent has the advantage, right? Yeah, you know, people kind of rally around in the initial stages. Of course, uh, war, war weariness uh, kind of sets in, and uh, it's, you know, people have been getting frustrated with COVID and stuff like that happened a little bit more in uh, Alberta than uh, other places but uh, usually uh, war is very popular and people rally around the flag and all this sort of stuff and this is what's uh, happened with uh, Trudeau and uh, I think many of the premiers generally uh, with the exception of the uh, here comes you yeah. I'm mud uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get out of the way. Okay. So, They're yeah. actually... Uh, I wanted to get out of the way. They were... Uh, yeah, so they're we're going down the alley like responsible yeah. citizens. They have a Harley Davidson... Um, license plate on the front. The ground and it got all got on it. Oh, there we go. See? Anyway, they're, they're actually driving drops. responsibility. I was a little bit scared when I saw the Harley Davidson license plate, but uh, yeah, and they waved, uh, they acknowledged, that might have got it on camera, they acknowledged my uh, uh, wish to get out of the way and stuff like that. So. That was a nice encounter. It doesn't happen often in this alley, either with pedestrians, or people on bikes, or uh, people in cars. And some people are just flying through here, even though they're going very slow, because they are, oh, they're flying on drugs. You know, excuse them while they kiss the sky. Yeah, I don't know. Chuck them in Because the, I don't want to accidentally find them again and go, oh, maybe mm. that was edible instead of worms. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, well. I mean, the worms like this stuff, you know, like it's good, healthy stuff. It's just the occasional person has peed on it. Pauline will have to wash her hands up very well. Yeah. 
after I doing this. I should have done this before my bath, really. Mm, yeah, exactly right. Mm -hmm. But my plants were wilting and I was like, oh, I better have a bath and get some yeah. water for them. I'm not sure if people have actually pooped uh, along this wall here. No, they not yet. they just save that for the the yard. I mean, imagine people pooping in your front yard as a semi regular thing. Uh, yeah, well, and they pee there too. Your yard. Well, a uh, dog poop. Uh, you know. No, but the, there's bad people around your neighborhood. There's bad people in this neighborhood too. There's bad people. Uh, my neighborhood's uh, actually a pretty good neighborhood, but. Uh, I'm afraid almost every neighborhood in Lethbridge is well, plagued by pukes. But now every neighborhood is bad. Well, I mean, it's, uh, they say Lethbridge has the highest crime rate uh, if you include some of the surrounding communities of per capita of any large, a relatively large city in Canada. So, wow. And this is a fairly recent phenomenon. Have you noticed that this tomato's made it almost up to the... The tomato the, plant itself. Yeah, the tomato plant well, there you go. I can see the, the yellow... Um, yeah. The yellow flowers there. So it's still and flowering, he hopefully. Makes it there because he's really mm -hmm. working at it. All I time. know. Yeah, who knows how long this uh, Indian summer or whatever you want to call it. I, mean, I, yeah, I wonder I if that's uh, politically correct well, anymore. Well, that's it. I, I, you know, I like, have been I, d I certainly don't want to trigger anyone. It's just now, awful. I've been working on a post that that's what it's called, Indian Summer. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if people are going to take offense to it, you know, because... Yeah. Um, when, uh, know, like, I've never known anyone to take offense to it, but... Yeah, when there's, when there's no offense meant, there really should be no offense taken. I mean, uh, it's, a, yeah. it's a positive thing. When people say Indian mm. Summer, they're mm. not saying, that's a bad summer. Oh, bummer. It's a great one. Yeah. So, and uh, the other thing is, uh, do you time. continue to hang with a guy who uh, who has a uh, indigenous ancestry, indigenous American ancestry? It's not as though you've got problems with indigenous people. No, the, the triggering stuff that bothers me is when people do bad things to other people. I mean, uh, yipping and yapping, particularly when, oh, what, what is it, microaggressions, when there's no intent meant. It's disgusting when people uh, claim to get triggered by that sort of stuff. I mean, uh, you know, m what I'd say to people like that is um, take a break. Take a breath, and if necessary, take a pill. The uh, triggering stuff that bothers me is 9-11. You know, that was kind of like triggering. And you'll get uh, uh, the guy who taught me Islam at the university saying, Oh, you know, like, your chances of getting wiped out by a terrorist attack in North America are, are lower than that of getting hit by lightning. You know, well... You know, you could say the same thing about uh, getting hit by militia terrorist attack to Muslims. I'd never say that. That sort of stuff has to be taken care of. I don't care who's doing the terrorist attack. Militias, Muslims, commies, anarchists, Nazis, or whatever. The stuff has got to be prosecuted. And severely. And it has to be uh, called down. That's triggering. Those sorts of things are triggering. Legitimately triggering. Unfortunately, they trigger a lot of stuff that isn't legitimate. It should be triggering people to say, what, what are the what's Antifa, or Antifa, like? What are they like? What are Muslim fundamentalists like? What are commies like? What are anarchists, at least the ones that believe in direct action, what are they like the people should be triggered into looking into these sorts of things. What are when you see the corporate uh, corporatists, the people who uh, ran the uh, world economy into the ground, starting with the American economy, 2008? What are their aims? How competent are they? They're more competent than commies, but that's hardly a glowing reference. 
they did the same thing back then in 1929. I gather that wasn't only in America, but it started in America. And bad things happened for the next decade plus throughout the world. And that's what happened in the teens of uh, this century after 2008 and we're still seeing the roilings from that I don't know if we'll see the end of it very much uh, uh, on, on, we'll see the end of it until uh, sometime well into the future ill into the future so Donald Trump part of that his success was part of that roiling came from 2008 Bol Bolsonaro um, Boris Johnson, Boris the Crypt Kicker Johnson, he just crit kicked the Crypt by uh, getting special treatment uh, when he caught the COVID through no fault of his own, through all the fault of his own, he should have been denied uh, ventilator. Look, I missed all these ones. Yesterday? Oh my, or oh, in, for a while. Yeah, oh well. They'll make good compost. The worms have already started with them, right? No, not these ones. No worms huh? have started with them. Well, they'll soon have a chance. So, you've uh, composted well in this yard. You were saying it used to be, uh, 20 years or so ago, a gravel parking lot. Now it's lush. People, and more than one person, have described it as a kind of like a paradise or a Garden of yeah. Eden. This year and she no. thought it was Eden. Uh, yep. And that's what I think of it as my own yeah. little personal Eden. Yeah. So of course after uh, a while back I uh, caught someone peeing right here. His friend was peeing over in the other side of the alley. I kind of snuck up on them and then I sort of scuffed my shoes like this. They didn't even apologize. They just kind of looked at each other and shrugged. That's how casual some people are about Oh, here comes our the watch. There we go. We'll watch the watch. They're doing the job coming down through the alley. They've got the Lethbridge insignia here. So I'll get out of their way. So just be careful. Someone's coming down the alleyway. I'm waving at them. Hey, thanks for coming down this alley. How are we doing? We haven't had too much vandalism or uh, uh, crime or people just peeing here today. But uh, that's not to say it doesn't happen other days. But yeah. uh, maybe they knew you were coming along. Maybe. What do you think? You don't mind being on camera, do you? Oh, it's fine. That's good. You're employed by the city, are you? Yeah. Are you, do you get paid at scale or are you just kind of like casual employees? Uh, so, both of us are full-time employees. Oh, that's awesome. So you probably get, uh, you're unionized and all that sort of stuff. You're not unionized? No. Okay, you don't get paid scale. Anyway, uh, this is documentation forever is going to get this podcast. It's going on the internet. You don't mind that, do you? That's, fine. That's good. Uh, this is documentation. You're doing the job. You're not doing... Have you ever heard of the term phantom paroles? Uh, patrols? No. Oh, yeah. It's what security guys talk about. They're always talking about someone else doing it. But I used to do janitorial and, uh, you know, like a guy would come along and say, has someone uh, been through it such and such a time? And I'd say, I don't think so. And they'd say, oh, Phantom Patrol. You see what I'm saying? Phantom Patrol. They're getting paid to do the patrol, but they're not doing it. Yeah. But uh, I've got to say that uh, the guys that I were, uh, was dealing with, uh, or were dealing with, uh, they were good guys. You know what I'm saying? They'd stop and chitter chat for a few seconds and then they'd be off, you know. And of course, I didn't want to spend too much time because uh, I was uh, working OT, overtime, and I didn't want to charge the city too much. I, no, I didn't charge the city at all. I gave them free overtime. And you all know, right. one union guy caught me uh, doing that. And uh, he's, 